what's up guys so this is continuations of data driven framework and in this uh, video I will talk about you know some more integrations of uh, the framework so last video I have talked about you know how you can create the object and all that right so and what I did is I just created two setter method set username set password and finally we have a login to application method which will take two argument username and password but this method is very important when you say login to applications basically when you do a login right when we do a login so which page uh, we will land we will land onto home page so when we do a login uh, we will be directed to the home page so when we will be directed to the home page your login method should return the object of home page right so the moment you click on uh, sign in uh, basically you will go to the home page so your login method should turn the home page i think this site my local site is down no issue so what we need to make sure that this method return type should be a home page because you are going to home page that's how you should design any method okay so set username set password and then return the home page okay now forget about this driver i will tell you why i am writing this driver now you have a login page and we are following page factory approach so in case of page factory your all web element should get in sliced on the runtime your all web element should get in sliced on the runtime to do that we have to create one constructor of this class so that we can in slice the driver on the runtime so to create the constructor of this class do a right click go to let's say source right click do a source and here you go for generate constructor using fields click on that and here just you need to select the driver so select driver click on ok so you can see that automatically one parameterized constructor will get created take it from here and better you keep it here okay so one constructor got created now in this constructor we have to initialize our Web elements, this web elements. So we have to use page factory dot init elements, and here you write driver, and here you write this. So when we write a driver on the runtime, my this driver make it as a public. My this class driver, whatever uh, whatever driver we have in this class, this driver will get in sliced on the runtime when we will create the object of the driver and whenever we will call this method whenever we will call this class method the driver we will initialize on the runtime okay so you just write page factory dot init elements pass driver one argument and this so when you say this means it is nothing but you are passing the object of this class okay this constructor is very important you have to follow in all the classes so similarly when we do a login we will go to the home page so home page I did the same thing I just made uh, here we need to make one private driver and then just object of home page okay so just I have made a dummy home page I don't have any object inside that we will write going forward so if you look at now this login to the applications will return the object of the home page so we are done with the login okay now what we need to do the very important point we need to here we have to create our test base ready the test base this class is the one which will have all reusable method which will be consumed by all the test scripts or the page objects okay so this class is very very important uh, our all the test script will extend this class not all page objects but all the test scripts so here what we will do is we are going to create two method okay two method the excel method which we have written here because finally we are going to access the data from the test base so what we will do here is we will make this method here okay and um, let me do one thing let me we have in this class right so what we can do here is 
we can just write return new or we can just create the object of this class so that you will not get confusion sorry it should not be like this it should be like this and so in the test base i am creating this method because this method i am going to use in all my test scripts and then you write return dot get excel data so basically this will give us the excel data right similarly we will create one more method and the method name is going to be update result so again here what we will do is we will make the object here and we are going to do uh, update result okay so two things uh, update result and excel data uh, get excel data two method i am keeping in the test base it is easy for us if you want to write the comment you can write the comment here this method will give us excel data in 2d array okay based on sheet name okay and here also we can write the comment like this method will update result in excel sheet okay so now slowly i am building the test base so two method is ready in the test base right now here also what we will do is we will make private or we will just make here public public web driver driver okay and one method we will write here to set up the browser okay so this two method is ready here gets get excel data update result two method is ready here login is ready here so now and or this login is ready here login to the applications uh, let me write one more method public void as of now keep void and just write get browser okay so when we say get browser this guy it should read the data from the properties file so based on the browser name it will return us the browser so here what we will do we will write if browser dot equals to ignore case let's say if it is sorry firefox okay so if it is a firefox create the object of firefox or first you write chrome so if if it is a chrome then do that or else if if it is a firefox and i will write the logic after that okay if this guy is the 
Firefox. So here just return the make the return type as a web driver so that we can return. Here you write return Chrome. So we need to make the object of Chrome driver is equal to new Chrome driver. We will set the path and all that going forward. Okay. Similarly, if it is the Firefox, do a Firefox driver. Driver is equal to new Firefox driver and return driver. So, and if nothing is found, then return null. Turn null. So this method basically will create browser objects. Okay. So three methods are ready here for browser objects, and I will do some customizations of this get browser. Okay, guys, because we need to customize this. Okay, so and I think I'll continue the next video because already uh, video length will increase. So I think hope you understood till here how to make initiate page factory, how to uh, make a test base. So that I'll continue the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this. Hope you like this video. Please give thumbs up.